Close your eyes and focus on what you're doing as you stay with the breath. Every time the thoughts go away from the breath, bring them right back. That's your karma right here in the present moment, the choices you make. So try to make them skillfully each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. It's one of the reasons why the Buddha has us work with the breath, so that we can see the mind clearly. All the steps of breath meditation are trainings. You make up your mind, this time I breathe in, I'm going to do it this way, or this time I breathe in, I'm going to be aware of this or aware of that. And that keeps us at it, because the breath comes in, goes out, comes in, goes out. As long as we're still alive, it's going to be coming in and going out like this. So we use it as a reminder that what we're doing right now, as we're breathing in, as we're breathing out right now, is really important. Nothing else is as important as this. Today is the tenth anniversary of Ajahn Suat's passing. I was thinking this morning about his, the various teachings he left behind. There's a lot that wasn't recorded in one way or another. One day he was invited to a house for a meal. He gave a very short Dharma talk, and it was basically on this point of the importance of karma. He said the Buddha teaches about not-self, all kinds of things are not-self, but he does say that we have our actions, we're the owners of our actions. He said that's an important point, an important distinction. Now, he didn't elaborate, but it's useful to think about it. Why would the Buddha talk about our owning our actions and not owning anything else? It's because we have the choice right now. And we should own that choice. In other words, take responsibility for it. If you're going to have a self, develop a sense of self around that, that you're going to be responsible in your choices, and that you're going to focus your emphasis not on how happy or sad you are, or how pleasant or how unpleasant things are, because those are just feelings which are not self. And focus instead on the decisions, the choices you are making right now. Give that top priority, and you'll find that your life takes on an entirely new shape. Each moment is an, is an opportunity to do something right, to do something skillfully. So try to take advantage of that. When we take advantage of that, we're keeping alive the Buddha's insight that we do have these choices, and that we can use our ability to make choices to lead us all the way to true happiness. It's in this way that we keep alive the teachings of the Buddha and of his noble disciples, all the way down through Ajahn Suwat. And then we can pass them on to the people who come behind us. And it's an important lesson, an important distinction to keep in mind. All those things that are not self, but the Buddha said we're the owners of our actions. Really focus on that. <laughs>